Hello children. Here I am back with another new interesting chapter that is chapter 2. Animals and their very life cycle. Very means different. Lifestyle means ways of living. Different animals have different ways of living. As you all know, animals are found everywhere on the earth. Fish for example, fish in water, deer on land. Why? This is because these places are natural homes for these animals. Where they live, eat and reproduce are called its habitat. So, fish habitat is water. Deer habitat is land. So, what is habitat? The place where an animal lives, eats, grows and reproduces is called its habitat. Now children see these pictures. Rabbit with long ears. First see the ear of crow. See, zebra has a pattern of ear on its body. Why? The body of bird is covered with feathers. So different animals have different features to get food, water, air and some special skills to protect themselves from their enemies or from their predators. So these special features are called adaptations. What are adaptations? The special features which animals develop in order to survive in their habitat are called adaptations. Now children, there are different types of adaptations in which help animals to survive in their habitat. What are they? They are adaptations for breathing, adaptations for movement. So we will discuss one by one both of these adaptations. First is adaptations for breathing. You know that all animals breathe. They take in oxygen from their surrounding and release out carbon dioxide. Animals have different breathing organs depending on their habitat they live in. For example, microbes breathe through body surface. Aquatic animals breathe through gills. Aquatic animals means water animals. Insects breathe through spiracles. Here, the breathing organs are body surface, gills, spiracles. Land animals breathe through lungs. Earthworm frog breathe through moist skin. Here, breathing organs are lung and moist skin. Here also we will discuss one by one all these breathing organs. So first is body surface. Microbes do not have any special organ for the breathing. So microbes like amoeba, paramecium, they breathe through their body surface. The oxygen enters their body through their body surface and same way they gives out the carbon dioxide. Now the gills, another breathing organ. Aquatic animals breathe through the gills. That means all those animals that live in water breathe through the gills. For example, fish. This is the picture of gills. Fish breathe through the gills. Gills are the feathery organs. 
consists of a stack of thin flaps and this flap is attached to the animal's blood supply see these are the flaps yes it consists of the flaps and now in what happens to them these flaps absorb oxygen from the water and pass it into the blood and from blood it is passed into the tissue in same way the carbon dioxide is given out in the water so this way the fish breathe through the gills now tell me children one thing why do gills work on land that means if fish is taken out of the water it will die why because this dryer the action of gases stop why do this gills dryer because these flaps collapse and stick together that's why this dryer and no exchange of gases take place insects like cockroaches bees and etc breathe through the spirals now what are spirals see these are the air holes this can you see this air holes insects have the small air holes called the spirals now see in this picture children these spirals lead to the slender tubes slender tubes means thin tubes these spirals lead to the thin tubes called trachea which is present deep inside the body and this trachea delivers the oxygen to the tissue and to the spirals in the same manner tissue give out oxygen tissue give out carbon dioxide into the trachea which is released into the environment through it, the through spirals so this way insects breathe through the spirals now lungs another breathing organ amphibians birds mammals and even human beings breathe through the lungs so this is a picture of lungs lungs are the spongy structure with large surface area it is richly supplied with the blood now we are children what happens when the animals breathe oxygen enters into the lung which is absorbed by the blood and from the blood it is carried to the different parts of the body same way when in same way from the blood the carbon dioxide enters into the lungs and from lungs it is exit out so the lab is said the lab animals breathe through the lungs now moist skin earthworm and frogs breathe through the moist skin earthworm as though it is living in the soil its skin is very thin so the exchange of gases take place through their skin now frog frog is an amphibian why i call it amphibian because it lives both on land and in water when it is in water it breathe through its moist skin but when it is on land it breathe through the lungs so all the animals move from one place to another this is called locomotion now they move in search of food air or water so different animals have different types of adaptation for movement so we will study here movement in terrestrial animals means land animals land animal means water animals aerial animals means those animals which spend most of their time in the air 
So we will discuss the movement in these one by one. So first is terrestrial animals. Earthworm moves by changing its body shape. Its body segments alternatively extend and contract, allowing it to force its way through the surrounding soil. Now what are these children? Yes, these are insects. What are the examples of insects? Like ant, cockroaches, they crawl on the land with the help of their legs. But some insects like uh, grasshopper, locust, they have strong and long hind legs to hop. And some insects like butterfly, honeybee, mosquito uses wings to fly. Even grasshopper also uses wings to fly. This way insects move. Next is fast running animals. The fast running animals, deer, horse, lapwing, they all are called fast running animals. Why they are called fast running animals? Because they have long legs and flexible backbone due to which they are able to run very fast. Now next is reptiles. Reptiles like lizard, tortoise, crocodile, they all crawl on the land with their short legs. But snake do not possess legs. They crawl with the help of the scales or plates present on the underside of their skin. So this way reptiles move. Now next is hopping animals. For example, kangaroos, frog are called the hopping animals. Let's take example of kangaroo. Kangaroo moves by jumping or hopping. Let's see in this picture. Kangaroo has strong, highly developed high legs. Even with, ex even with the extra large muscles. And the kangaroo as an extra leg which gives them power to move. Now frog uses long and strong back legs for jumping on the land. But when it is in water, it uses its web feet to move. Aquatic animals means those animals which live in water. For example, fish Paramecium, turtle, penguin, duck, frog. Now we will study the movements of these animals. First is paramecium. Now in this picture, can you see the, this structure, children? This hair like structure? This hair like structure is called cilia. What are these? These are called the cilia. Paramecia moves with the help of the cilia. And what is cilia? Cilia is figure like structure. So this way paramecia moves with the help of cilia. Now next is turtle. The turtle four limb and hind limbs are like paddles which help them to push water and move forward. So they have paddle like feet to swim in water. Now the fish. Fish moves with the help of fins. Now you can see this picture of fish. Fish, it has unpaired fins both. Paired fins and this tail fin. This unpaired fins help in maintaining the balance. And paired fins help to move forward. And this tail fin is used for changing the direction while swimming. So this way fish moves with the help of fins. Now duck and frog. They have webbed feet to swim in water. 
dot have long hind legs which help them to hop on the land. And earlier also I told you that frog has a long hind leg, strong back leg that is hind legs which help them to hop on the land. And when they are in water, they are webbed feet. You can see in this picture, these are called the webbed feet. So, when they are in water, these webbed feet help them to move. Only that swim also have webbed feet. But they also have the wading limbs. Why do they have wading limbs? They have wading limbs to wade in water and web feet to swim in water. So this way the frog and the move. Plankins. Plankins moves by the flippers. Are, these are the flat limbs without the fingers, which are called flippers. So they move with the flippers. Their four limbs are modified into the they have the strong, short back leg. That leg means high limb. They have short high limbs to move on the leg. So this way when penguin is on land, it moves with their short high limbs. And when it is in water, it uses flippers to move. Now the adaptations in aerial animals. Aerial animals means animals those who spend most of its time in the air like insects, birds etc. So first insects. Insects uses wings to fly in the sky. So they move from one place to another with the help of wings. Now see the, see these beautiful pictures of the birds. Birds also uses their wings to fly. Birds fly with the help of the wings which are covered with the feathers. So what are the features? Wings are modified folds. That means their folds are modified into the wings which they use to fly and these wings are covered with the feathers. For flight, birds move their wings downwards and backward which lift the bird upward and move forward. The birds change their direction of their flight with the help of their tail feather. This tail feather also help in landing. So as I told you, birds fly with the help of wings. What helps them to fly? Their light bodies and hollow bones. These hollow bones are filled with the air, which make the bodies of the bird very light and help them to fly. But children, there are some birds which are not able to fly. Why? Due to their heavy weight and weak wings. That birds are called flightless birds. As you can see in the picture, see for example penguin, ostrich, emu, dodo. All these birds are heavy in weight and they have weak wings. So they are not able to fly. That's why these birds are called flightless bird. So these flightless bird move by running, swimming or walking. And these birds are also called the exceptional birds. Now here children, I am concluding my session by giving you some homework. Now, this homework you have to do in the rough copy. Here you have to strike out the wrong word. Means in the sentence Whatever is the wrong word, you have to put cross. Amoeba breathe through body surface or gills. Now, whatever is the wrong word, you put cross.
Second, insects breathe through body surface or spinal cords. Paramecium 